I... My friend Brian was very nice to me, and I have no proof of that, and I was going to start being shitty to me. Wait, what happened? Oh, uh, yeah, I told you to have a nice day, and I'm going to be mean to you. Yeah. Yeah. Now, see, that was your chance to act like you never said anything nice. Th thank you for ruining my bet. All right. That's all <laughs> I was like, uh, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm not going to give you the win here, so. Good of you to come. <laughs> Pity you didn't bring an army or siege works. You're a piece of shit. Elias. <laughs> Gone to the palace, no doubt. Behind You're welcome. High wall with the I got to do what I do best. We can't get through. Can't be catching me slacking. You know who can. You know, you don't pay me to be slacking. How many messages did I send? Huh? How long has I don't pay you. Trapped in there with those yeah, you're right. You don't. Where's the labor laws and all of this? If she's still alive, if this tunnel exists. All right, everyone. Uh, like, comment, and subscribe if you think uh, Rob should be audited and then immediately thrown into prison. Useful years ago, true. But it's clear for workplace malpractice to seek this and mistreating of employees. Not your business. They're like, nah, Brian deserves it. If I were to look for a I honestly I believe start? it. She has a house in the market square. We were supposed to meet there before, but yeah. I couldn't get <clears throat> close. Tried to come back alive. Not convinced this old woman is worth the risk. I was bright. She'll prove me wrong. Yeah. Have a little faith for once. Oh, so, while you've been playing Black Desert, I've been doing homework, and uh, looks like I'm a higher level than you now. <laughs> yeah? You know what I. You wanna know what? But. I don't know. I don't have any good. Uh, I, don't have, I don't have anything good. All, all I have to say is good, good job, man. Good job. You, you've been doing your homework. You know, have you have you figured out uh, how to not? Uh, was your homework involved with you not dying anymore? I see you still have letters. So. Yeah, I have letters. So that should tell you. That should answer your own question. Yeah. So like, if I get you killed, would you be mad? Out of mana. Yeah, but don't like purposely try to get me killed now. Right. Right. Hey, come with me over here. Okay. Let's just stand right here and do nothing. Okay. Did you notice how they were stunned? <laughs> no, I, I wouldn't want to see you die. That would be that, that would sadden me greatly. So I have a chess piece that I never want to get rid of. Um, would you like to know what its effect is? What's that? If there are at least five enemies, stun them for four seconds. Oh, you got the close ability. Yeah, I like that. Yup. That occurs every 20 seconds. Which is not very long. Uh, yeah, I mean, it, 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 it's long if like what you're doing is intense you could really be like i need it now but like normally 20 seconds I feel like if there's a hundred enemies it just get stunned and then you die because you stunned them right that's how that works right sure how dare you what, say what are you doing I increase the damage. Okay. Uh, I was stopping a second and reading my stuff. Because I haven't been playing this like super duper crazy. So I'm just, just trying to remind myself of stuff. of mana is again. Oh boy, I'm 
gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hate these abilities. What? You keep your fingies off my bum bum, all right? All right, you gotta go handle the crowd from here. I, I gotta deal with some chasenies for real quicks. Yeah, let me uh, just get my cooldowns right here. Yeah, I'm going back to uh, my rapid fire because this ain't twerking. I think the enemies are waiting for you to come out. That's really rude and immature. How dare they do that? How, how dare they just wait for you? Like, ah, oh, we're just going to puppy guard this dude. Like, how about you not? Alright, fine, fine. You want to touch on me up inside me bum bum? Yeah? Die. How do you like that, huh? Huh? I, mean, I haven't really said anything, and I think you're like, resuming a lot of things. You okay? No. I have the violence within me. The violence within. Yeah, calm the fuck down. I'm gonna calm you the fuck down with my ice skills. So I guess in a way you could say I'm gonna cool you the fuck down. <laughs> Very clever. Dude, I literally had to dig for that. It wasn't clever. <laughs> I had to change words just to get there. Brian, like, like when I was when we're, we we oh god, when we weren't playing yeah. together, I got a new aspect. Does it, it say whenever you equip it, you'll be good at this game? It says whenever I throw up an ice shield, it makes me unstoppable. Ooh. Okay, that like actually two is good. No, that's still good. I like that. Because you get a lot of shields, man. So. Oh, yeah, we gotta get you that little statue over here. Have you seen someone named Are you mad? Are you mad? Lady, if I was mad, you'd know about it, because I'd be punching you. Only in Minecraft. No, no. Don't let them get me. Especially in Minecraft. Yes, exactly. We we don't beat women in real life. Only in Minecraft. I yes. mean, wait. No, you said it right. I said we don't beat women only in Minecraft. That means we beat women in real life. No, you I specifically, you specifically <laughs> stated that we do not hit women in real life, only in Minecraft. So you, and then you said, I said it right. we also don't hit women, only in Minecraft. And so Tristan's over here trying work. to whisper to everyone that I hit her. I mean, but it's true though, so I don't know why you're trying to deny it. We all know you beat Tristan. Poor yeah, woman. You literally punched me in my mouth once. Just beating on that poor girl, day in and day out. All right, so you listen, hear that, that everyone? Did I tell you the story about how I hit her in my sleep one time? Not hit, you mm -hmm. fucking bunch. I did not hear the- let- it, I'm sure everyone hasn't heard this story. I definitely haven't, so tell us. And also tell them how your girlfriend has infected you. Like, comment, and subscribe if uh, you think Rob uh, beats his girlfriend maliciously. Alright, well, alright. They, they can decide if I'm, like, good or evil after I tell the story. Is that fair? Okay. Yep. So, there are these things called waking nightmares, also known as sleep paralysis. I'm sure you're familiar. Yes, uh, yeah, I studied up on it. Go for uh, it. What's up? So, long, long story short, one night, um, I woke up on my back thinking that there was this fucking the ring looking fucking demon on top of me getting ready to do something bad, like choke me or something. And somehow, and somehow, even though I should have been paralyzed, my left arm had the strength of 5,000 suns, and I reeled up and, like, swung my arm as hard as I could, and... 
And Tristan was, yeah, and Tristan was right there next to me, and she, she got smacked. So, dude, fucking, you wind up. All I see, all I see is you winding up real goddamn hard, and being like, "Be gone, you demon!" Fucking clocking Tristan, and this big just fucking wasted, appearing above her head. From Grand Theft Auto. Wasted. I was fighting for my life. Bro, you summoned some like anime strength and fucking wasted your girlfriend. Damn. How can. Alright, like, comment, and subscribe if you uh, think we should petition for Rob to be sent to jail for beating up on Tristan. Because he's clearly a woman beater. Using that excuse, <laughs> oh, it's demons. Uh huh. Sure. Inner demons more like it. Don't worry, Tristan. We got your back. It was actually the, the first time that I ever. It wasn't my first sleep paralysis, but it was the first time that, like. Uh. uh you had a left demon ever, like, attacked me. Yeah. You're evolving, man. You're evolving. You're getting used to that world that it keeps summoning you into. You just now have to make sure you can distinguish Fred from foe. They just get more violent every time it happens. To the point where you just start straight up, like, roundhouse kicking Tristan to another room. Yeah, maybe she should, like, start sleeping in a different bed. Yeah. Or maybe I should start sleeping on the couch, I don't know. Nah, cause you'd find some way to like get up and then find your way in that bedroom and then beat the shit up for... Yeah, I somehow like start having night terrors and also sleepwalking even though I should be paralyzed. Yes. You, uh, you have a sleepwalk paralysis. Sleepwalking paralysis. Where every time you punch someone, they get paralyzed instead. <laughs> Balling yourself. Why are we doing this? It um, is I, Lord Peralio. Why are we here in this dungeon anyway? Cause. We need to find someone who can sneak us into the building uh, that supposedly has Elias in it. And we're going after Elias because we don't like Elias. And he's the right-hand simp of um, Lilith. So that's why. We're finding a girl who is apparently being held here that can help us in. And we're hoping she's still alive. Though, He's no promises. Not. He's not. Probably not. I mean, you no, know the luck, answer, I don't. Probably... Yeah, I know I know the answer, but I'm still gonna play it off as if I don't, bro. So, maybe she's alive, maybe she ain't. All I know is, if she is alive, we're stabbing the shit out of her. Um, no. Be like... Uh, she's like, oh my god, thank you for saving me. And I'm like, oh, and I start stabbing her. And then you're like, dude, that was the girl we literally came here for. She scared me. I'm sorry, man. I just, you know, like, she, she shouldn't have popped out like that. She was literally getting up from sitting on the ground. And you were staring at her. I'm easily startled. Yes, yeah, like, you asked me if that was her and I said yes. And then you stabbed her. All right, all right, all right. So we're gonna open up the wrong cells on purpose. Yeah. Yeah, because the dialogue's funny. Shit, I'm going the wrong way. How did I get lost? Oh no, I was coming over here thinking you were following me. All right, all right, cool, cool. Here we go. First one. Talk to this guy. Talk to him. Talk to him. Hey. They. They get stronger from eating us. <laughs> Our flesh. <laughs> Isn't it wonderful? Right. I'm pretty sure that qualifies as war. No, no, I, I'm not ready yet. I can eat more. I get fatter. 
now tastes better, right? Please, let, let me eat more. I just Spartan kick her into the Iron Maiden and slam the door shut. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's actually Vor. That's like... Yeah. Yeah, 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 they're cannibals. They're, they're all prisoners of the cannibal cult. Rob's favorite song. Oh, sorry, I had to drink something. I know I heard something. I heard someone going. Arr! Mr. Sork, everything hurts. Not for long. Who's there? Right. Snaps his finger, killing the kid. How did you go through a door that was closed? Yeah. Because I'm on point. You're not him. <laughs> Who are you? The chopping. It stopped and I thought... I thought he was coming for me next. Your friend Zolaya sent me. She... She's still here? You'll see her soon. We need to get through the market. I... I know another way. It's safer. The old prison wing. It was sealed off years ago after an earthquake. Rob, I, I just want to let you know... That, uh... Where did the cannibals come from? My milkshakes. They bring all the boys there. I thought you'd care, no. How do you make them leave? What's that? They just show up. How do you make them leave? Oh, well, I don't. I give them more milkshakes. I have an unlimited milkshake supply. Oh, well, that must make you a lot of money. That sounds like a good business. No, I give, them to, I give it to them for free. You wanna why? Why? Cause daddies get milk for free. Woo woo. I fucking gonna get killed for that. <laughs> there goes our entire fan base. Like, oh, oh gross. Alright, Brian's a piece of shit, get him. If they haven't figured it out at this point, then I think you're okay. Yeah, you're so much faster than me, and it's annoying. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I see your barrier uh, going on and off all the time. What is that? It's uh, the shit you get at after the end of the game when you start the DLC. Um, you'll get a construct. And there'll be a stone that you attach inside him that gives you a uh, a barrier, like basically every five seconds. So, a little something you can enjoy when you beat the game, and you get your own construct that follows you around and helps you with fighting. It's so like a calico. No, calico. Yeah. Move. Yeah, exactly. And you can customize its abilities and all that fun stuff. That's nice. Right? Oh, dude, that, that thing gets really OP later down the line. But I haven't gotten enough far down the line yet. They just don't stop! <laughs> yeah, you, you were going crazy with your arrows there, too. Bro, I'm trying to see how like hard I can go with my um my arrows. See how well, far I can break it. Didn't you say it like depends on how much the enemies are vulnerable? 
Yeah, uh, so if they're vulnerable, that just basically guarantees that my energy never runs out. And, um... But I want to see, like, how much damage I can pump out and other stuff like that. Just, you know, see how far I can take the arrows. I can't stop my hands from shaking. Give me a moment. Yeah, lady, take your fucking time. Yes. Where is she? Where is she? All right, we gotta escort Twinkle Toes. Yeah, you good? Now oh, kill them both. Yes, right? You waited. <laughs> Kept now in kill danger. them. Oh, you oh. stubborn cow. Of course Show I waited. Them. Where would I go no without you to mercy. tell me? Anywhere away from here. Yes, well. They shall you know are a lucky only fool. I'll give you that. Enervation and death. Ah, Lorath here sent this one to find you. They need your help getting into the palace. There's an old escape tunnel. The entrance is in a cavern also, nearby. Also, frosted flakes. Behind an alcove marked with the old sea's cross. It's more than good. It's Twin sabers join at the hilt. Press the left I'm getting a little tired of Lorath pretending like he's not a, just a useless drunk. <laughs> cool yeah, that's not exactly. That's one of his Thank not you. so finer points. Well, he just sends you on missions and then act like if you screw up, he's gonna be pissed. But then he doesn't do anything. He literally doesn't really do anything. You are right. Like, he'll get more useful down the line when he realizes he has to be, but yeah, he just likes to send you out as an errand boy. Which, yes, is is frustrating. You know, when we first met, I assumed this connection you have with Lily... And him also assuming we were always going to be evil all the time, all the two, uh, time too, like we were weak. Maybe I was wrong. We shall see. Like, boy, we ain't weak. We've been clapping cheeks the moment we met Lilith. Yeah, Including her that, cheeks. I was gonna say, not hers, but... Dude, we always clap in the Lily. Uh, Lily uh, we always clap them Lily te uh, those Lily cheeks. Well, I guess that makes one of us. Bro, I, I, clap, I clap her cheeks any day of the week. Give me some of that, that Lilith mommy dummy cheekage. While you were in the city, I was gonna say I don't like the horns. They don't do it for me. Which of the lesser evils? What the fuck are you even smoking? Those are the handlebars. Bro, come on, man. And like, her horns give you extra options for handlebarage. What's the difference? Bro, you could go into all the. You could literally ride her like she's four wheel drive with those fucking horn options. Those handlebar options. Many more cities we are too hot to hang on to. Our only hope. Then just fucking I don't know, handle the heat. What well, potion of fire resistance? Exactly. Yo, Lorath, get me some uh potion of hell resistance. Hellfire resistance. Uh what do you need that for? What enemy are you fighting that has the fire equivalent to hellfire? Don't worry about it, man. All you need to know is that it's for a good cause. Whose cause? Mine, bitch. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then he looks at you for a really long, judgmental moment and goes, You're gonna go fuck Lilith, aren't you? Yeah. What? No. <laughs> Why would you even... Dude, that's so presumptuous. How could you even... You know, I really thought better of you. I, I thought you trusted me and saw me in a much better light than that. You're going to absolutely fuck her, aren't you? Look, man, even if I was, what's so wrong about it? Okay? You betrayer of humanity. Meanwhile, he doesn't care. He just wants the gold. I mean, just keep defending yourself while he says nothing. 
and is waiting right. for you to pay up the gold. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, he's totally like scrutinizing you. He's like bullying you and all this stuff, but you look down and his hands just rubbing together like, give me the money and I'll stop. And I'll give you what you want. It's like, oh, I get it now. You actually not really judge with us right now. Yeah. All right, he's not talking with you. Yeah. 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 yeah he's, he's, he's helping us fight. Like, like he starts to do a little bit more. Like the more that we get closer to like heavier. Ooh, something over here. A door. Get the fuck over here. No, I'm not done killing everything yet. Fine, you're right. Oh, okay, you're just... Let me actually help you. <laughs> Fucking standing in. I'm standing in poison, like, nah, bro, don't worry about this. Alright. Oh, oh, boy. Oh, boy. My. Oh, boy. My. Oh, boy. Uh, item check. Yeah, I'm actually going back to town. Fuck you. Well, fuck you, so am I. And I wow, thought of doing rude. that before you said it, so. Oh, oh, oh of course. Uh huh. So cheeky shit. All right, let's see. I need to get rid of. Wait. Ooh, ooh, don't do that. Don't do that. Wait. Anything new? Anything for me? Oh, I almost threw away some uh, good gloves. Yikes. Yikes. <laughs> Yikes. They call me Lord Giggle Master Yoinks. There goes that dog barking again. He's protecting our property from the demons. Do you mean the ones that you uh, punched in the middle of the night that happened to also be your girlfriend? First of all, they're different. <laughs> <laughs> and second of all, maybe. <laughs> Only in Minecraft. That way you don't get hit with uh, possible domestic abuse charges. Hey, if the police are watching us, then we're already fucked, okay? If the police are watching us, they ain't even gonna act on anything we say, because at this point, they know we're satiric. Rob, I'm running so much farther ahead of you. Why are you so slow? Huh, psych. You Look saw at this guy, he went the wrong way. Ha ha ha! And you will have it once Elias has finished his grand work. What work? You will see soon, bro. The seeds we have sown will bear fruit. Gulwan will be reborn, and so will Ed. But work. Oh. Elias. He is yeah, right. To summon Andario into the world. Her, her power will lift us to new heights. And of course, you, you will have more meat. I want to watch. Certainly, Great Bro. You will be the guest of honor. I will go through. Maiden of anguish. That is the lesser evil we need to summon. Heavens help us. Thanks for opening my chest. Oh. Bro, stop. 
Hey, 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 watch this, watch this. You're fucking welcome. Remember in Bloodborne when you opened my chest, even though that's not <laughs> something you can do? Yup. Like, that literally, you can't. Funny. Like, you literally can't do that, and somehow you did. You're in a dream. I have joined you in your dream. So I am a dream within a dream, and I still opened up your chest. Yeah, that was hilarious. I love that. That you pissed couldn't... you all the fucks off. You couldn't even collect the item. <laughs> like... And you shouldn't have been able to open the chest, either. But I just find it hilarious that you opened up the chest and then couldn't collect the item. Yeah. That would have been even funnier if I could collect the item and then you didn't get anything because I collected the item. Ooh, more? What the f- I'm liking this. I mean, keep paying us gold. I thought they were done with that. I don't know, man. I mean, it's still within the same season for it. I just thought they did um an update that made it less frequent. But hey, whatever, man. I'll take it. I'll I'll take it. All the gold I can get, I can take. It. <gasps> Rob, you remember how I used to love that show, Ruby R W B Y? Yeah. They're owned by Rooster Teeth, right? I guess. Okay, Rooster Teeth's owned by Warner Brothers. Warner Brothers, like sometime this month or uh, like late last month, uh, just released or uh, just disowned uh, Rooster Teeth, like or not disowned, but shut them down basically. Not just disowned them, but shut them down. So Ruby, Red versus uh, Red versus Blue, and Genlock are all up for sale. Oh. The the rights to the shows and stuff are all up for sale. But like Rooster Teeth's gone, man. They made my favorite show, and then there's no guarantee that my favorite show will keep on going. Not that I'm really caught up or anything. I'm pretty sure I'm like five volumes behind. But that's beyond the point. Like, bro, Rooster Teeth's done now. They they've been shut. Uh, they've been officially shut down by Warner Brothers because they weren't making enough money. Well, that sucks. I mean, to be fair, they weren't making enough money because. Okay. Oh my God. <sighs> I'm going to take a lot of flack for this for our new viewers that may absolutely feel very differently about this, and I'm very sorry. But I do, like, it is true whether you want to agree with me or not. Rooster Teeth me just couldn't, like, down with a lot of their stuff being overly woke. Really? Yeah, like, uh, they were forcing a lot of their shows to be very, like, Pro LGBTQ, but like, okay, okay. Well, was first that them or was that Warner Bros. making them? No, that that was them. That was them. Okay, let me be very clear about something. Um, I am okay. I am in full support of people being LGBTQ plus. All the acronyms, all the new additions. I think whatever choice you choose in life, that is amazing. Please be you. Please live your life. Know that you're loved and cared about in our channel. And everyone has a freedom to be whatever they want to be, you know, whatever you identify as, whatever you stand for, whatever you live your life as, I'm right there in your corner. So please understand that when I say what I'm about to say, it's more of like a storyboarding perspective. Like, uh, how does this make sense and how does it follow the original script when it was first written and how does it explain a character's development? So in the very beginning of Ruby, for example, you got four girls. You got Ruby, R U B Y, rather, it, but you know the pun off of the R W B Y. You got Ruby, who is a young girl who should be like, I think she's like nine, ten years old, and she got like, she got allowed into high school really early because she showed a lot of promise. This is a girl who literally said out in the first episode, "I could give like zero fucks about boys." All I care about is um, weapons and being the hero and beating up the bad guys and all this other stuff. And then you have Blake, her older sister, who sees her, who is like basically with her going to high school for their first year ever. And Blake's like, oh my God, I'm so happy that my sister gets to go with me. We can go like, you know, eh. We can talk about boys and go shopping and all this other stuff. And that's where Ruby's like, ew, boys, I just want to be the hero. 
But like Blake's like, oh, fine. Then all the boys for me. It's like Yang is this very like cliche high school girl. And then you got so Ruby doesn't care about boys, cares about action, wants to be the hero. Yang wants boys, wants the cliche life. Then you got the third girl, Blake. Blake is your super emo. Like has a hidden past, doesn't really want to talk to anybody, keeps to herself kind of. You know there's a lot of like baggage there. But like you find out later she did have baggage. She used to have like a boyfriend, it didn't work out well. And she used to be a part of a rebellion. It really damaged her in some respects, but now she found solace in her new friends and wants to save the world. And then you got the last girl, Weiss, who is a girl who came from a really rich family was raised to be a princess has to keep up a public image all this other stuff kind of wants boys but also just wants to earn the love of her father and her family okay cool now let's time skip to season four after the main director illustrator like in a way like author the author dies and so the company had was able to take it in any direction they wanted after he died. I will not in season four, they made Yang and Blake gay for each other. Thought so, yeah. We, I thought that's where it was going. Yeah, they made, out of thin air, they made two women that were straight for basically whatever, gay for each other. With no character development. They, they made just... Ruby fall in love with, like, people and be into romance now. Like, ugh. Just for no Again. reason. Right, and so that's why I had to be clear very early on, everyone. I have no problem with people being gay. I have problems with you make straight people gay with no context clues or development. Oh, dude, I'm I'm sure everyone is sick of it at this point. Um, it's like why? you know there are, there are millions of examples you could bring up, which uh, we might talk about in the next one because we're over thirty minutes. Yep, cool. Sounds good. Then we'll talk to Laura. He's he's busy, so we won't disturb him right now. Thank you, everyone, for watching. See you next time.